Google Password Manager. It's a really useful tool if you are dedicated and committed to using your Google account, whether it's a Google Workspace or a free Gmail account. If you're dedicated to that email address and you intend to make sure you never lose it, then Google Password Manager could be a useful tool for you. Again, if this is the account that I'm gonna set up Google Password Manager on, I'm gonna make sure I never lose this email account. I have two-step authentication turned on, I have the backup recovery codes, I have the email and phone number uh, recovery set up for it. I'm not losing this account. I'm making sure that I keep it for as long as I intend to keep it because now I'm about ready to start saving passwords in this Google account. So how do we do that? How do we start saving passwords in Google? Hit the plus, go to passwords.google.com, right there it is. And the first thing you wanna do is you wanna hit the sprocket right here and you wanna say offer to save password. Now the moment you do that, you need to also make sure you do not have another password manager in play. I use LastPass for my business. I will not use LastPass. You can't really use LastPass and Google Password Manager together. You need to use one or the other. And then on this account, I'm gonna use uh, Google Password. So turn that on, turn that on, you might as well turn that on. If you're gonna turn on on-device encryption, the same warning that I offer here, and that is to make sure that you never lose this Gmail account, because if you lose this Gmail account, you're gonna lose access to all the passwords you saved, and that could be tumultuously painful. All right, so once I had that turned on, all ready to use, now when I go to sign up, log into an account. Let's go log into LinkedIn. And I'm gonna log into LinkedIn. And now you can see it's already got password saved. And it's got so it's got the email account and the password, and I hit sign in. And automatically, because I set it up earlier. If I go do another account, if I go, as I say, I want to log into Quora. I'm gonna go see right there because it already has one of my passwords saved for this account. It automatically put the email address, put the password, and I can hit login. And now I'm in Quora. When you go to do another account, you want to you know, create a new account. Let me set that up for you. Give me a second. I'm gonna log into Canva, and I'm gonna hit login. Now continue with email. I'm gonna put the email address, right there it is. I'm gonna hit continue. Now I need to know the password. Give me one second while I get the password. Let's log in that, hit log in. Now you'll notice right here, the little lock. Look, boom, that popped up. Now it's a new account for my password management. Save it in the Google account, that's critical. Do not save it on the device. That's the email address, there's the password. I can look at it and I can hit save. Now the next time I go to log in to Canva while I'm in a Google browser with this Gmail account, Consulting at gmail.com, it's gonna automatically log me in or give me the email address and the password so I can log in. Again, this is all based on setting up Google Password Manager and, and, and right here, a little sprocket, turn it on, so, turn on auto sign in if you want. Turn on password alerts in the event there's a save password found online somewhere so that you can uh, manage your passwords for all your online accounts from Google Password Manager. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail guy. I hope this is helpful for you.